Welcome to the explanation of the ADA model by Pink Flamingo Marketing. This video is presented by myself, Chloe Morris, founder of Pink Flamingo. I am a marketing and social media consultant and mentor focused on helping independent businesses and brands grow and develop through consultations, tailored mentoring programs, and online learning. ADA is one of my favorite models, which I use with clients in explaining the steps a customer goes through in the process of purchasing a product or service, essentially helping us to understand how to design your sales funnel. ADA is an acronym standing for attention, interest, desire, and action. It's been around a long time, having first been developed by the American businessman E. St. Elmo Lewis back in 1898. The original purpose of ADA was to optimize sales calls, specifically the interaction between the seller and the potential buyer. Now, despite this model being over 120 years old, it is still widely used and relevant today. Having been adapted to new technology and modern consumer behavior. ADA can be referred to as a communications model and can be applied not only to verbal communication, but to any campaign or piece of content, including social media copy and sales pages, etc. ADA helps us to understand how to guide our potential customers through to the point of sale. This video has been designed specifically with using it for social media posting, sales pages and event descriptions, etc. So let's get started on the first stage. The first stage is attention. It is the ability to hook your audience right away. Now, remember that people have a very short attention span. So you have around three to six seconds to grab their attention. On social media, in particular Instagram, I'd say this is probably more like two seconds due to the speed that people swipe through their newsfeed. So think carefully and creatively about the first words that you use, whether this is verbally or written. And also with social media, what imagery is attached to this as well? So you could start perhaps with a good question. Um, shock them with a fact or a figure but really think about what their first impression is going to be. So think about um, it as essentially your shop window. What is going to grab their attention? The next stage is interest. So what do they want to see or hear? What is going to create value for them? Make it all about them. Show that you understand their needs. You need to keep that interest at this point. So communicate that you have the solution to those needs or the problem. Once we have this sorted, then we move on to the third stage, which is desire. Desire needs to be developed because creating attention and gaining their interest isn't enough to make that sale. The desire creates the want and works on making the customer really want to purchase from you. Now, this is the hardest part to get right. We have to work on making the customer switch from their left, more logical side of their brain to their right, more emotional side of their brain, which allows them to want, want, want. Desire is all about illustrating the core value. It's what sets you apart from the crowd. So make sure you communicate your niche, your unique selling point, or as I like to call it, your pink flamingo. And this overrules any price differences or comp competition. Now, branding comes in very heavily here with Instagram, a prime example of how desire is created with accounts using beautiful lifestyle imagery to create this desire of how life could look if you had this product or service. So what is the best way to create desire? Focus on the benefits of the product and how the benefits can positively affect them as the customer. Make your posts relatable, show personality and make connection. Be funny or 
Be honest. Make your posts trustable. Help them to lower their guard and allow themselves to want your product or service. Use testimonials and examples of others who have bought and are happy with your product or service. Also create a sense of urgency. Communicate if there's any limited availability or limited time to buy. Now, once you have convinced that prospect with a desire for your product or service, then you need to confidently and quickly move on to the final step, which is action. Action provides a clear and simple recap of the value proposition. So what users can see value in it for them. Ensure that you have a clear call to action. What is it that you want them to do? Do you want them to book a discovery call, to email you or to call you, to visit your website, or maybe buy from your online shop? Ensure there is no hesitation or fear in asking for the sale and make it easy for them to make the action, such as including the purchase or the booking link or the contact details, etc. To recap over Ada, firstly, we need to start with the hook. We need to gain their attention. Then we need to keep them interested and demonstrate that we know their needs and their problems and how we can solve them. Then we need to induce desire. We need to allow them to feel comfortable and allow themselves to want. And finally, we need to provide the action such as viewing the website or booking that discovery call, signing up to the mailing list or viewing the online shop. So I hope this has been useful and that you can implement this with your business. So if you need any more information, please contact me. My Instagram handle is there and also my web address, pinkflamingomarketing.com. And I look forward to hearing how you're going to implement Ada into your business. Thank you so much.